Hey Virgos, welcome to your love reading. If you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get all the messages I post each month. I will leave information about what decks of cards I'm using in the description box as always and I will I'm also doing a raffle um, to win a personal reading so information for that is also in the description box if you'd um, like to enter check that out okay guys so here we are we have the world card first okay so it's like a dawn of a new day here, new cycles beginning because you've overcome a spiritual lesson successfully here, okay? Um, Mercury is about to go retrograde, so communication with people and um, people not understanding you right now, Ten of Wands here as well. Um, just be aware of that, okay? There's a lot of miscommunication and a misunderstandings uh, going on, Um just try rise above it, okay, with the Ten of Wands. Um, and I feel like, you know, when Mercury goes direct and it'll be a better time to speak to people. Maybe people can't speak, uh, see things from your point of view. And that's okay because, um, you know, you are winning spiritually here. Um, you know, overcoming a lot of spiritual lessons successfully. Um, people just might misinterpret who you are at the moment and what you're trying to say so just you know <clears throat> let it go don't hold on to it opinions ain't facts take them in and let them go so you know if people misunderstand you just give it some time and I feel like they'll see if you you don't need to argue back it's sort of like a lose-lose situation you know if we see people arguing on the internet it's like a lose-lose situation because People just have time on their hands, um, you know, with world events at the moment. Um, lockdown, people can't really go out. I know we're slowly getting back outside, but um, just be aware that, you know, people are frustrated and angry at this time. Um, I don't think you're doing anything wrong. I think you're elevating, you're ascending here. Like I said, winning spiritually. Um, and p at this time, if you try to put your perspective across and your um, enlightened opinion, it may be mistaken. Um, so, yeah, you know, maybe just not the right time to um, try and wake people up. So just be aware of that. Let go of what's not serving you. Just um, walk away from arguments rather than trying to... Um, get people to see things from your point of view. I, I, I believe you do, you know, have great things to say, um, but they're just, it's just like fighting fire with fire here, okay? So, yeah, just, you know, give it time, let go. Is it really something worth fighting for? Then fight for it. But if it isn't, if it's like petty little internet arguments, just let it go, okay? You're only going to drain yourself, so... Yeah, let's see here what we have coming for Virgos. Ten of Cups, yeah. So a lot of changes going on. We see the Ten of Wands, the Ten of Cups and the world. Um, a lot of cycles have been ending. You've been processing a lot and transforming, uh, transforming, transforming here, okay? So I see things really improving for you here. Um, being able to get back outside will help a lot getting out in nature, okay? You know, feeling the sun on your actual skin and that lot, it will do a lot for you here. I, I believe you'll feel happier even if you go on a hike by yourself and, you know, like I say, respect social distancing and things like that. Um, you'll feel so much better being able to get out than sitting inside arguing with people on the internet for no reason. So please, you know, do that. Get outside ground yourself um i feel like you because you're seeing things from um a very high perspective you may be romanticizing things a lot as well um so it's fine to like i said you know don't carry the stress of the world with you um get outside ground yourself grounding yourself is like telling yourself the truth um you know relaxing understanding 
you have a right to say what you say and other people have a right to say what they say. Um, it doesn't mean we have to fight each other. Page of Wands, yeah. So this conversation will, you know, it's not going anywhere. Somebody does want to talk to you with the Page of Wands. Um, but while you're going through these changes, because like I said, you have ascended, you have completed something successfully here. Um, maybe they haven't yet. So it's not the right time with the Five of Swords. It's very poor communication. Um, so, but it shows, look, after this cycle has closed down with the tens, um, you'll have the chance to communicate again. It could be with somebody younger than you, maybe even your children and things like that, okay? They may misunderstand you at this time and it's okay. The tower, yeah. So I see like major, major changes and transformations coming up for you. Um, the tower doesn't mean negative things. It means like there's a big shift going on and you're going to be part of that, right? Um, we've got to do things like, um, I guess, in the right way. So if you know, okay, I want to go, let's say, for a walk and I want to do so in the sunshine. Um, if you just say, okay, I'm going Friday and go Friday what's going to happen is what if it rains and but you want the sunshine right so we need a plan here so this is why i'm saying look it's not the right time to talk to this person you know um emotions are running high at the moment so um you know you could schedule a different time to talk to this person so that when you communicate the tower brings you know, positive changes. The tower always brings positive changes. Sometimes it can happen in a negative way. So we might see that um, we lose a watch, but we end up with a new watch and you might have been praying for a new watch, right? It's just that sometimes things may seem bad or worse before they get better. And I feel like the more you try to talk to this person, you could end up making it worse at this time um, than, you know, better. So, yeah, just really try and focus on um, having a strategy, doing things at the right time to have the right impact, okay? So that, you know, you can bring positive changes. I feel like... Um, you could be like a leader here. So you could be like maybe in charge of a school class, you know, and things like that. <clears throat> so you'll know that a timetable is very important. Six of Cups, yeah. So this is about somebody you already have shared memories with, um, you know, this person coming back around. Unfortunately, conversations that need to be had usually come back in Mercury retrograde. Um, so this is why we see this person coming back and, you know, needing to have a conversation with them because it's unfinished business. Um, but it's like it's going to fall on deaf ears if you go towards them all righteous. OK, if you take the time to ground yourself and, you know, look after yourself and let go of all that's troubling you when you have this conversation, I feel like they'll be more open to it and more, um, you know, softer with you. They won't be trying to fight you back as much when Mercury is direct. So I would really plan this. If they come back during Mercury retrograde, I would say, um, hi, yeah, great. I want to have this conversation. Can I reschedule? Because I'm a little busy with work and things. Um, and they can be like, sure. Yeah. So, you know, that this person coming back will be a surprise to you, but, um, you know, you already know in advance that, okay, right now, you know, planetary wise, it's not great to have this conversation, although it's a needed conversation. So let's book it for a better time. Three of Pentacles, yeah. Then I see you guys can work it out and work together. Three of Pentacles is about working together here. So, yeah, you'll be able to then have a conversation without screaming and shouting at each other because 
What happens when we're both just screaming and shouting? Nobody's listening, right? Nobody's getting heard. Everybody's just clashing and banging heads. So uh, you and this person will be able to have an easier conversation. I feel lighter, even more fun with the page of wands. Six of Swords. Okay, we see this 666, okay? Um, so a lot of positive energy coming in for you now. Uh, another great six for you. Um, this is successfully being able to move forward. Um, whether that's with or without that person, it's be up to the individual, won't it? Um, but here I see like you'll be able to think more clearly, speak more clearly. Once we're moving from um, the Five of Swords to the Six of Swords, we get out of those rough waters and able to have conversations that move us forward very successfully here. So it's like taking a step back to be able to go forward. I always say to people, um, you know, who ask me, why would we go back to go forward? Sometimes we need to reverse the car, right? In order to get ourselves from being parked to then pull off and move forward smoothly. So, you know, it's just like that. I feel the more you're able to ground yourself and love yourself here and let go of um, past events with this person, um, if you feel like, you know, you're not angry about it anymore, um, you know, you're healed, then I feel like you can have a really successful conversation with this person. If you're still angry and that other person's still angry, Five of Swords is a lose-lose situation. It's just an argument. And then we see the tower. So then the argument is just like, boom, separated again. But it's still like unfinished business. So we need to be able to have this conversation um, with this soulmate here, whether it be your child, a friend, um, and work it out you know, in a surprising way that we can both build and work together and move forward from this. Good luck, guys.